Welcome to Elliot's PT Podcast. I'm here to help you find your balance and live your best life guilt-free. I don't believe there is a one-size-fits-all approach for health and fitness. We're all different and we need to find out what works for us. I'm passionate about helping people make realistic, long-term lifestyle changes that they will stick to and they will take with them forever. I don't believe in crazy diets or short-term fixes. We all need to live and find a perfect balance in diet and exercise that suits our individual needs. I wanna help you find your exercise mojo, feel great and achieve wonderful things. Here is Elliot's PT Podcast by Renee Elliott. Hello, hello, and welcome to Elliot's PT Podcast. So today I want to share some two consistency hacks that you can use in your life to help you stay consistent, not feel like giving up, and realize that what you are doing is actually really good and you are getting there. Most people, when they start doing something, they just want this quick, quick fix. And if they feel that it's not quick coming quick enough, then they give up because they think it's not working. But you know, if you actually really looked at what you were doing, it was working. You just gave up too soon. So with anything, consistency is the key. And what we need to do is we need to find something that works for us for life, something that we can stick to. So, and we can stick to it for long term because that's how we are going to get our goal. So. I see lots of people that come to me and they might say, oh, I'm doing, I'm going to do fasting. Is that going to be the quickest way that I can get weight loss? And then I'm like, well, why, why are you fasting? Are you fasting because you've seen other people fasting or you've heard of other people fasting and getting weight, uh, weight loss results? Or are you fasting because you enjoy the benefits of fasting? You enjoy how fasting makes you feel and it's, and you find it really hard to eat multiple times during the day you like only eating in a small window if you are doing it for those reasons then that's amazing but if you're doing it because everybody else is fasting and you've heard that they lose weight fasting um, you're not going to stick to it so so the thing is being realistic with yourself what works for you what works for your personality and are you going to stick to it the same thing oh right I'm going to try the keto diet I'm going to do the keto diet I'm just using that as an example Okay, so I'm going to try that diet. Well, uh, because I've seen, I've heard other people, they lose lots of weight on that. So that's why I'm going to do that. Okay, so so are you doing that reason again? Because you really enjoy, um, you enjoy those foods, you find it easy to stick to. Um, but or are you doing it and you really love carbohydrates? Well, in a keto diet, the carbohydrates are very, very minimal. So is that something that long term you're going to be able to stick to? I don't think you will. So that's the, the, the thing we need to think about. Is this something we can stick to long term? You need to know that because the thing is, I see people, they might they might do, do something for a short term and then they'll, they might lose weight, but then they're not gonna stick to it because, because it's, not, it's not something that they really enjoy, not something that they wanna do. And then what happens after? They then put that weight back on plus more because they've gone back to their old habits. So wouldn't it be better of trying to find something that we can stick to for long term, something that we can be consistent at, and that in the end, it actually doesn't feel like we're on a diet anymore. It doesn't feel like I'm having to restrict. It's just your lifestyle, and it can work with anything. So that's something that we're going to talk about today. So I... um, really feel that consistency is the key for everything. I feel that most people uh, overlook this step. They don't see it as important because they're too busy focusing on, oh, I need to restrict this. I need to not do this. I need to work out harder. I need to make sure that I'm, um, you know, they're focusing all on the wrong things. When if you could actually just be consistent with the things that work for you, Uh, and and finding that nice balance, you're going to get even better results. And the thing is, they're going to stay there. You're not going to put weight back on. Your uh, your results are going to be there forever because you found something you can live back to. It's not something that has an end. It's something that works for you for life. That's why when um, I have my program that runs is called the Little Black Dress Project. And that project actually doesn't have an end. It runs continuously because we, it's, there's, it's not a diet, it's not a challenge where it ends. It's something that works for you and then you, you go, okay, this works for me. Now I'm going to 
try this and it's something that you've got to find that you can things that can work for you for life so the uh, first consistency hack that I'm going to talk about today is actually uh, is starting to track and monitor your consistency so lots of you are looking at the you might be tracking your food you might be uh, doing those things but are you tracking how consistent you are we like to think in our head that we are consistent that things but sometimes uh, we our brain tricks ourselves and then we think we are but we're actually not being as consistent as we're telling ourselves so if you could actually be starting to record it down then you can see where maybe that you are being really consistent or you can see where maybe some things need to work on so what do I recommend to do? Print off a calendar. So depending on what you're looking for, what your goal is, print off a calendar and you can mark it off. So, and then you can see where you are consistent. So if it's like, right, in order to achieve my goal, I need to get this many steps in a day. I need to uh, be doing this many workouts a week, um, making sure I'm sleeping eight hours. You know, So you can write the things depending on whatever your goal is that you're working towards and you write write those things on there and then you mark them off so we want to be able to mark them off so then we know that we, we know that we're achieving it and the other thing is that when somebody comes to you and says well are you being consistent you actually have tangible evidence and you say well yes i know i am being consistent or in the other hand you might realize from marking stuff off that oh i'm actually not as consistent as i thought i'm telling myself that i work out four times a week and i've actually only done one workout you know, or I'm telling myself that I'm getting my steps in and now I'm actually looking at my watch and realizing that I'm only averaging 8,000 a day instead of 12,000. So when you start to write it down you can, and you can, you can see where, where things are going well and maybe where things that need to be worked on. The good thing is that by putting this into the calendar, it's helping you create habits and habits are formed by a trigger. So you, we, um, so habits are formed by a trigger, a behavior, and then a reward. And then when you start marking it off on your calendar, you're getting that reward. And then you're also gonna get that, um, it will create that reward response in your brain. So you're gonna get that hit of dopamine, which um, is your reward system. So, and that will start solidifying that habit. So let's say you want to be drinking more water. So let's say you're wanting to be drinking more water and every glass of water you mark it off. So then you're going to get a little hit of dopamine each time you do it. You're going to feel good about yourself and you're going to know that you're working towards getting your goal. And again, the more that you're doing this, it's going to, you're going to be able to solidify that habit that it doesn't become a habit anymore, that it just becomes your life and you're, you're drinking those um, three liters of water without even thinking. It also, by tracking and monitoring the consistency, it also uh, works in multiple ways. So number one, it can create awareness. So it can create awareness to things that you need, that needs working on. It can create awareness to that, oh, maybe, maybe um, I'm consistent in this one area, but I'm not consistent in another area. And I could, you could focus more on that. It creates awareness of um, that, you know, the thing is that, like I said, we, we sometimes we like to kid ourselves that we are more consistent than what we are. And so the act of actually writing things down, putting pen to paper, makes you really realize where, how good you are at things and maybe the other things that need worked at. The other, the other way that it helps is it works in, um, it solidifies your habit. So it's, so you're getting that dopamine hit and it's keeping that habit, uh, reminding you of how good the habit is and it's making sure that that you're doing it and it becomes it becomes something that you don't have to think about. So it becomes something that you stick to and that you do forever, but it's not a chore. So by recording that down, it, it really helps in that way. And the other thing is that everything's about it's it's life. So life is not a hundred percent perfect. So I need you to understand that when we're doing this, we are not striving for a hundred percent perfection all the time. We need to make sure that we are being consistent. But there are going to be times that we aren't going to be 100% consistent and that is okay because that is life. We do not have to be perfect all the time and this is where my second hack really comes in. So I find lots of people, they're focusing on the one day. So they're focusing on this one day and then they think that they're not um, 
they might not be perfect on that day and then that makes them feel that oh well what's the point in trying I can't even do one day I'm going to give up but my second hack is that I want you to understand that averages are so much better than tracking your day-to-day fluctuations so if we look at our results on an average over a week or a month you're going to see that that one day that you um over ate or that one day that you felt stressed and you ate a whole chocolate bar it doesn't really matter in the whole scheme of things because you were consistent for the whole month you were consistent for the whole week so when we start to look at the averages of the week or or the month the further out you go obviously the more the better it is you know but let's just use a week for example Okay, so if you're looking at your one week, so your goal is to achieve, you're wanting to reach 10,000 steps a day. So you would average that over the week. And let's say, you know, so that would be what, 70,000 steps in the week. Let's say that you have a day where you are, you might um, be stuck at your desk all day and you are only reach 5,000 steps in that day we have still got the rest of the week to make it up okay so you've still got the rest of the week to make up to get that um, 70,000 steps for the week so you haven't stuffed up because that one day you didn't get your 10,000 steps in you can balance it out the same with your food so if we want to think about your food uh, let's say you are um, wanting to get let's say 2,000 calories a day And if you're going to take that over the whole week, that would be 14,000 calories uh, for the week. And then you might have a day where you uh, like, you might, you might be going out one night, you know, you're going to eat dinner out and you might have that day where you know that you're going to eat more food than normally. And your day might be, let's say, instead of 2000 calories, you eat 4000 calories in that day. Well, just because you've eaten 4,000 calories in that day doesn't mean that you have stuffed everything up and you are going to chuck the towel in because it's never going to work and you've failed and you're a failure and all those other things. It means that you've eaten that in that one day, you had a nice meal out, you enjoyed the time with your friends um, and your family that you were out with and you were relaxed and that is perfect. But then you can, again, balance, try to balance that out in the rest of your week. Okay, so that one incident doesn't stuff you all up. It's just, it's just one day. Okay, so it's about the overall balance and understanding the bigger picture, not just look focusing on that little fluctuation. The same as if we were looking at our weight. So let's say you focus you weigh yourself you get on the scales and you weigh yourself every day and now if I told you that you would maybe um, you would maybe gain 200 grams one day but at the end of the week you would lose uh, a kilo okay now you would take that wouldn't you so you'd be like yep I'll gain 200 grams one day but at the end of the week I would lose a kilo you would take that well but what happens is people go oh it's not working I've gained I've gained 200 grams um that's it I stuff I chuck the towel in but you're not consistent for long enough you give it you give up before you've given it time and you need to look you need to come back and look at the bigger picture look at the bigger picture of what really is happening and when you can be more consistent over time that's when your results will happen and your results are already happening you're just focusing on the smaller things and giving up way too easy stop focusing on the on the day-to-day fluctuations because there are many things that also uh, influence uh, you know can influence our results and what fluctuates like just a small example hormones you know again i've spoken about this before but hormones you know where where you are at with your cycle uh, water um, all of those things make up a massive difference as to what our results are but what people forget about is they forget about those things they forget to look at those things and they just think it's not working and they give up and actually it was working you just gave up too early and you just need to keep going and realize we're looking at the bigger picture we're looking at the bigger picture and we aren't trying to be perfect 100% of the time because I don't know anyone who is. 
We're not perfect 100% of the time, but we're looking to be as good as we can most of the time. And when you look at the bigger picture and you understand that it's um, instead of focusing on the weekly outcome or the monthly outcome, and that, that that one incident or that one day, it doesn't stuff you up. It doesn't mean that you're a failure. It's just one day. So understand it's one day and move on from that. It's, and we really want to, it's not always about how what we do every day, it's rather how we can be more consistent over time. Okay, so consistency over time is the key. The, and the ultimate goal is finding something that you can, that works for you with the least amount of tension. So like I said about at the start, choosing a diet that, choosing a diet that is say really restrictive on a, a certain food group when you don't, you really enjoy that food group, for example, carbohydrates, then that's, that's not going to work for you long term because you, you just do that. Again, saying that you're going to do um, do a certain exercises like running and you absolutely hate running. Again, long term, it's not going to work for you and you're not going to be, you're going to really struggle to be consistent at it. So again, thinking, really thinking what works for me, what works for my personality, what do I enjoy doing and then working out how you can be consistent with those things that are aligning with your goals. Because remember, we're all different. There is no a one size fits all, you know, one size fits all like, okay, this this works for everybody because it's it's not, it's not that. It's finding something that works for you, that works for your personality and that you can stick to. So then you're gonna be able to stick to it long term. Consistency is really, consistency is the key to getting long-term results and being able to maintain and keep keep weight off and stay where you want to be. Realizing that one day of a one day of not being, I guess, right or I guess we're all perfect, um, is it going to stuff you up? But again, we aren't looking for a hundred percent perfection every day because we aren't perfect. So understanding that that one day or that, you know, I know lots of people struggle over, they feel like they struggle over the weekends, but maybe if you looked at your averages over the week and you could be more lenient to yourself over the weekend, then that could also help you balance things out. Um, again, I've spoken about this before, we, we talk about the weekends, that if you know that on the weekends you're going out for a meal or you're having a takeaway or you're doing this, then you balance the rest of your day out to, to compensate for that night time out again and so then it's not it's not a it's not a failure it doesn't mean that it's not working it means that you've you've had that night you enjoy it it's great to relax um, relax with your friends have that you enjoy it you move on it doesn't mean that you've had that one incident and then from that incident everything goes out the window and then you um, you throw it out of the window for the rest of the week. We don't want that. It's just, it's one day or one meal. And if you look at the average of the whole week, it really, really doesn't matter. So hopefully some of those uh, two, my two little hacks are things that you could start to try. So if you start to write things down your, on your time, uh, print off your calendar and write down in your consistency um, consistency calendar. Let me know how you're going. You can tag me on Instagram or Facebook. I would love to know and please share with me if this has been able to help you. All right, I will speak to you soon. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the Elliot's PT podcast. I hope you have been able to find this information of use to you. If you know someone who might be, enjoy this podcast, please share it with them and ensure that you subscribe so you can be the first to know when new podcasts are released. If you have the time to leave a five-star review, that would be amazing and it would be greatly appreciated. If you do so, please screenshot and share onto any of our socials and tag us. Then email the screenshot to hello at elliotspt.com and we will send you a free gift to your inbox. Thanks so much. Have an amazing day. Speak soon.